Hey Kubernetes admins, Jack Wallen here to help you get things done. Let's find out how to create, deploy, and update a replica set. As with just about everything related to Kubernetes, we define our replica set via a YAML file. Create the file with the command nano rs.yaml. Let's break down the contents of the file. The first two lines define the API version to be used, version 1, and what the YAML file will be deploying, replica set. These lines are API version colon apps slash v1 kind colon replica set. The next section defines the metadata for the pod, which declares what we're trying to achieve. In our instance, we're creating an Nginx proxy pod to serve as a front end. This section looks like metadata colon, name colon, nginx dash proxy, labels colon, app colon, nginx dash proxy, tier colon, front end. In the next section, we define the specs for the replica set. We start off by deploying five replicas, and then we use match labels to instruct Kubernetes what pods the deployment will apply to. In our case, nginx dash proxy. We'll also name the containers and define the image to be used for the pod, nginx. The section looks like spec colon, replicas colon five, selector colon, match labels colon, tier colon, front end, template colon, metadata colon, labels colon, tier colon, front end, spec colon, containers colon, dash name colon, nginx, image colon, nginx. When you put this entire YAML together, it looks like that shown in the article below. Save and close the file. Now that you have your YAML file together, we'll deploy it, so it'll create five replicas of the Nginx pod. To do that, issue the command kubecontrolapply-f-rs.yaml. You could also use the command kubecontrolcreate-f-rs.yaml. The command will report back that the replica set was created. You can verify this with the command kubectl-get replica set. You should see the new replica set running. Say you need to scale the replica set up from 5 to 10. That's actually really easy. Open your YAML file and change the line replicas colon 5 to replicas colon 10. Save and close the file. Rerun the command kubectl-apply-f-rs.yaml. You should see the replica set dot apps slash nginx dash proxy configured reported back. To verify the change, issue the command kubectl get replica set. You should now see that replica set is in the new desired state. You can also check the status of the individual pods with the command kubectl get pods. You should see all 10 pods running. <laughs> If you want to see more how-to videos, subscribe to our How to Make Tech Work YouTube channel. Also, check out Tech Republic for the latest news in tech.